welcome to, or welcome back to, Cooking with Pouncy. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. If it's your first time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you like what you see, you guys, please hit that like button. And I would really appreciate it if you have a mind to subscribe to my channel. I would really like that as well. And uh, let me know what you think, guys, and pass this on as you see fit. Tonight we're going to do, we are going to do some crab cakes. They're very simple to do. I've got a recipe that I found, and I'll identify that where I found that at uh, in my list of ingredients, I guess. And so you'll know where I found it. I got some variations that I'm going to put into it, but essentially it came from a recipe that I saw that I will identify in this uh, in this video. Um, anyway, well, we got some crab meat here. I was going to get lump crab, but I but my local supermarket didn't have lump crab. This is actually chicken of the sea crab meat. It's not lump crab, but it looks pretty good. So I'm going to use that. Uh, we're going to have some panko uh, breadcrumbs as a binder for this process as well. Uh, there's some Worcestershire sauce that's going to go in here. It'll be an ingredient list for you guys. That's got to go in here as well. Uh, they It called for fresh parsley. I didn't want to buy a thing of fresh parsley because I'd probably use two, ta two tablespoons. You know what I mean. I got some dried parsley here, and I'm going to use that instead. I've got some Dijon mustard. Uh, it's also in that this specific recipe. I'm going to be using that as well. All this, the ingredients sound good, guys. That's why I want to try it. We've got some hot sauce here, too. This happens to be Louisiana hot sauce. Okay. Got a little bit of that. I think it's about a half teaspoon or something. You can put as much as you want in yours. Um, I've got one egg, one large egg. I'm going to be beating that egg like I'm going to scramble it and pretty much put all my dry ingredients, oh, excuse me, wet ingredients together before I put my panko crum crumbs and my parsley flakes in there. Okay. Uh, I've got some mayonnaise. This is real mayonnaise. It's like the real crab meat. This is real mayonnaise. I'm going to be using some mayonnaise. And that's about a uh, third of a cup, I think it is. Anyway, it'll be an ingredient list for you. I'll be using a little bit of black pepper. I'll also be using some salt. You can certainly use salt of your choosing. Could be sea salt, salt rather, could be kosher, whatever. I'm going to use a little bit of this. Watch your sodium. I'm not going to use that much of it, but just to taste, okay? Because crab meat's going to have, got to have some, going to have some salt in it as well. Uh, I'm also going to use some seafood magic. You guys, have, if those of you that seen my videos before. Uh, I'm going to be using. I'm going to be putting some seafood magic in there, in addition to the salt and pepper. I've used this many times. It won't be too salty. I'll be doing it in moderation and certainly doing it to taste. Um, it's kind of reddish color, and I don't want to make those crab cakes red or looking like they're paprikas in them. But anyway, I think it's going to add a little bit of flavor. I'll be using a little bit of that too. I think I'm done here. I uh, told you about the word Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to coat my pan with some canola oil. It tolerates high temperature, so I'm going to be uh, searing these crab cakes uh, at about uh, medium-high temperature um, just to brown them. And you do have to cook them, guys, because you're going to be putting raw egg in there, okay? So you gotta you got to cook them. I think that's about it. So I'm going to be putting all this stuff together, and you'll see me put that together here in my little stainless steel uh, mixing bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my patties up, and at a later... I guess here goes our seafood 
Magic? Not too much. I got a little salt and pepper on there. You saw that already. So we're going to just go ahead and keep blending this. I'm trying not to chop this crab meat up too much, guys. We want it, we want it to not to appear like it's a lump crab, but it's got some pretty good chunks in there, right? So here goes that part that I blended together with the egg mixture here and my liquid stuff, my Lee and Perrins or Worcestershire sauce and my Dijon mustard. That's going to go in here now too, okay? All right, so here we go. And again, this is the first time doing this, guys. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It should turn out pretty good, I hope. That's what we're going to do here with this. And we're almost done. And again, I'm hoping it's dry enough for me to start making, <laughs> making patties with it. Patties with it. Again, I'm not tossing it too heavy here. just want to get it blended here. and That's enough to hold together, I, I guess. It's coming together pretty good here. As you saw, guys, I, I did put some black pepper in there and some salt. And fold it over a little bit more to get it a little stickier. And again, I've done crab cakes many times. Perhaps you guys have too. They're quite good. If you like crab. If you like real crab. And that's pretty wet now, guys, so I hope you can see this. It's pretty wet. With moisture, I should say. Look like it's going to hold together pretty good as I press it here, okay? So we're going to start making some patties out of this. Out of this mixture. It looks pretty good. That's what we'll do, okay? So, I'll be right back with you in a little bit as we start getting our patties ready. I'm getting our pan ready with our canola, with our canola oil in it. I think I'll just put them on this pan here. Just a little baking sheet here as I mix them up here. So I think I'll get a scoop as well. So, I had to make sure my range is on here at medium high. And you guys bear with me. I'll be back shortly. All right, guys. Here we go. I've got, uh, of course, I've got eight patties here. Uh, I use an ice cream scoop. That's why I warmed up with these little balls here. But I'm going to make actually patties out of them right now. This one's got a little bit more than the rest of them here. It's going to do this. And we're going to grab this little guy right here. And we're going to start to form a patty. And I think I'm going to uh, maybe press them a little tight. Because I want them tight. But most of all, I want them to stick the <laughs> hole together when I, when I fry them off. Okay? I'm going to make a nice round one. This Looked like I had a mole on that one, didn't I, guys? All right, so here we go. I've got one there. Uh, can make them. Kind of even you in the cook evenly, so there you go. A little bit more on that one than this one, so I'm going to steal a little of this one here, put it on this one, and we're going to do that all over again. All right, again, I'm pressing it pretty firmly to hold it together, and hopefully that panko will hold it together. Again, this is my first time with this particular recipe, and I'm hoping that that... Uh, that panko binder is what's going to hold this thing together, All right? Because you don't want them falling apart, and uh, perhaps they won't. I'm just trying to anticipate here, and I shouldn't do that. I should just go ahead and do what I'm doing and be quiet. All right. They sure smell good at this point, guys. And again, you got to cook them, guys. Uh, you got to cook them because you got that raw egg in there, remember? And uh, we want to make sure. They get done, so I'll judge that by the color of them, I guess, is one measure. And probably going to be cooking them three, three, four minutes on each side, maybe. We'll see. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, what I, one of the things I did, I put a little of that seafood magic here for color. And, and I hope it don't make, doesn't get too dark, but that's what I did, okay? That's why you can see a different color on these, maybe, okay? But I got a little bit on the top, so we're going to put these in our oil. And I just have my pan situated here where I can get them in the oil. And like I said, I'm going to do these, these guys about uh, three, two minutes, three minutes on each side. Hopefully I get a nice color on there. Okay, looking good. I gotta get some oil in the middle there, as you can see. The pan's a little convex, so that's making it a little difficult, but I'll get it done. Get that in there. 
Now, guys, we're gonna let that go. Like I said, I'm gonna look at my tight my watch here. I'll let it go for about three minutes on each side. I hope. Let's get some oil on this one. As in, move these out of the way so we can get some oil under them. Under that one as well. And a little corner for that one. As I said, my pan is obviously convex like that, so that's causing that oil to go to the outer perimeter here. But that's okay, we'll make it work. As long as I can keep it centered on my burner here. And don't let them get too um, hot so as they burn. But anyway, they're looking good. Again, the reason I put that uh, seafood magic on the top of them, although I had some in the middle too, and it won't be too salty. I've used this stuff many times. I just make it a little bit on the top, like I said, and hopefully that'll give me a really nice color as it's browning, okay? That's what I'm after here, so bear with me. I'm going to let you see me turn these over, and that's going to be in about another uh, minute and a half, two minutes, okay? So guys, I'm actually turning them now at uh, about three and a half minutes. Uh, they're browning real nice, and I don't want them to get too dark, as you can see here now, okay? they got good color on them now. And I, I didn't put that seafood magic on the other side. And one of the things I'll correct next time around, too, is I'll get it. I've got a flat bottom pan and a griddle that I can use for these things that, that, that's flat, and I don't have to worry about that bare spot there with that oil not touching that spot right there, okay? But they got good color right now. After that three minutes, three and a half minutes. And on you now, like I said, I turned it down a little bit too. Because I want to make sure before it gets too brown that those eggs get, that one egg gets done in the middle. And they will be. So anyway, they're looking real good. I'll be back with you in a little bit. These are going to be done the next time you see these. We're going to be ready to plate them up. Okay, guys, they are done. They are beautiful. I think you can see that. Uh, they did not absorb, uh, you know, they're not greasy, if you will. I just put enough oil in there to coat the pan, as you saw. Uh, and then my little convex situation got worked out. These things look really, really good. They smell really good as well. So we're going to plate them up here and show you the presentation as I doctor the, doctor the plate or make the plate pretty. You can make food pretty if you want to, I guess. But again, they look really, really good. And um, let's just do that, okay? I think you might be able to see this. We're going to put one of these beautiful things right here. And then we're going to take another one and put it right here. Like so. And we'll take this one. And we'll put that one there. And we'll take this one. And we'll put that one right here. Oh, they look really good, guys. They smell good, too. So there you have it. There's our crab cakes. There's the, present, there's the presentation as well. As you can see, I got some cute little tomatoes on there, all varying or different si uh, different sizes and shapes and colors, and I think it makes for a very very attractive plate. So, guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in to Cooking with Pouncy with the crab cake deal here. Uh, again, if you like what you see, please hit that like button. Uh, tell me what you think as well, and pass this on as you see fit. And I would really appreciate it, guys, if you would subscribe to my channel. And these are going to be scrumptious. We're going to be <laughs> eating those very shortly here this evening as well. Uh, we're going to, um, I'll probably have, uh, uh, just to give you a suggestion, I'll probably have some tartar sauce with mine. My wife will probably have this stuff here called sriracha. It's a uh, Hidden Valley Ranch stuff. We're not promoting products, but again, she likes spicy stuff, and she'll probably use that one, and I'll probably use a little uh, tartar sauce on mine, guys. So again, this looks very, very good and scrumptious. So again, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in.